While it's true we use our mobile devices many times a day, it's often in short bursts, during distracted situations, or with other things going on around us. That's why our interfaces should really be accommodating and let people jump right in to getting things done. To see how that happens, let's take a look at an example. Here, if I want to log into this application, I simply tap the login button and get taken to a form. Now, in order to actually log in on this form, I once again have to tap on the first field. That brings up the keyboard and lets me start entering my email or username. I think we can do a little better than this. Let's look at another login screen that instead jumps us right into input. Here, when we tap login, you'll note that a form still comes up, but the keyboard is already ready for us and the cursor is in the first field where we need to enter information. That's what we mean by getting people going right away, skipping as many steps as possible so that we make the best use of people's time. We don't just apply this to simple forms like login. It also applies to other forms of input. Let's say the camera and image capturing. Here on Instagram, when I tap the camera, you can see I'm put immediately into input mode. The viewport actually shows what my camera is seeing, and capturing an image is just one additional tap. That's pretty quick, but we can do faster still. The application Jelly, in contrast, fires us into input mode right when the app opens. So let's tap on it and see what happens. Boom, right away the camera is open and we can capture an image. Jelly is all about asking questions in a visual way, so immediately we have the opportunity to just tap once and get our answers. Now we don't have to resort to using the entire screen for input. We can actually have prompts in other parts of the screen that have that same immediacy. Let's consider what happens when we fire up the Google Plus app. Down below are a series of pictures I've just taken with my camera. To post one to this network, I simply have to tap on one, and I'm done. This kind of input prompt, again, kicks us right into input mode. It doesn't require a lot of tapping around, moving to a particular form, or initiating actions. It prompts us in an appropriate way at the right time. Let's look at one more example of this in action. Here on Twitter, when I choose to compose a tweet and tap that icon, you can see I'm once again taken to a compose view. That compose view has all my recent photos available directly below. It's only when I actually tap into the text area that the keyboard comes up. Twitter clearly wants us sharing photos out the gates and is trying to make it as easy and fast as possible. One other point to note is there's a series of input prompts right above the keyboard. We'll talk about that more in another video. For now, remember, when you want to collect input from people on mobile, don't make them work too hard for it. Autofocus on primary input controls and surface suggestions that prompt people to enter information or content that you need. These techniques will allow you to get input faster and easier, making everybody much happier.